Welcome back girls and gays. For today's video, we're watching the best and the worst rated episodes of The L Word. If you watched my video where I ranked every lesbian couple, then you would know that I've never actually watched The L Word all the way through. I only watched the first two seasons. <laughs> The best rated episode is from season 3, episode 10, in the worst rated episode. I think it's literally the last episode of the last season. So we're gonna watch the best one first and then we'll watch the worst one last. Just because that's the order that they fall in. Okay, we're starting the episode. I'm kind of nervous. So I just watched the recap in the beginning of the episode. It seems like Shane just cheated on her girlfriend. Denny just hooked up with her fiance boyfriend from season one. And then of course Dana's going through cancer. The only good thing about me not finishing the show is that I didn't watch her have to go through that, but I guess um, that's what we're doing today. I guess I'm watching that. Dana, Eminem. Why is this the best rated episode? Okay. Bye. You're right. Bisexuality is gross. I see it now. Not the casual bi-phobia. What is it, like the 90s? We'll let it slide. I think I made you laugh. Is Bet a Buddhist monk now? I'm not following. Where are we? I didn't know you were into classical music. Well, there are a lot of little things you don't know about me. Oh, yeah? I bet there is, like, what? I cheated on you. Oh. I thought Shane cheated on her. Or did she cheat in retaliation? Did they I both cheat? I heard you. She's gagged. When? After you fucked Sherry Jaffe. What do you do as cheater number one? Like, has anyone ever been in this situation? Do you just, like, okay, we're even? I feel like it's a breakup at that point, right? Hi. All right. Oh Her ex-boyfriend. Hey, okay, he's butt, a girlfriend. Sure. Uh, wife, Becky. Hey. Becky, this is Jenny. Nice it's his wife. Is pregnant? I, I wanted to be it's surprised. his pregnant wife. Everyone, this is Ryan William Haspel. Hi, I'm Tim. Oh, yeah, this is my boyfriend, Max. <clears throat> Isn't this the lady Sarah Paulson's dating, like, with a big age gap? For the, the men's foreign freestyle. He's transitioning. He's a pre-op transsexual, and he was talking about the women's swim team time. Classic Jenny bullshit. It's not enough for her to be gay. She's got to have a girlfriend who's a boyfriend. It's just too fucking much. This is Trump's America right here. How many days have you been in this room? Five. That's all I'm saying. Clear your head. It'll be good for the both of you. One thing about dating women is you know she will be your caretaker. Women are like innately caretakers, you know? We birth children, we take care of them. She hasn't even left the room in five days. Like, what a legend. Prime example. Hey, what do you think? You think you could do without me for a little bit? I love you. I love you too. I can't do it. I have to turn the episode off. Oh my God. She's like unresponsive. Last time I watched the show, She's playing tennis. What's her name? Tell me what the fuck her name is. Her name is Robin. Robin Howard? No. I, I don't remember her last name. Shane invented the lesbian web. Pretty sure she probably knows whoever this girl is. Like, It's like she's low-key a hypocrite, but obviously she's going to be upset. Am I chasing you or am I missing something? I just escaped from a silent retreat. I couldn't do it. Hey, sometimes words are the best thing we can give other people. This is coming from a yapper, but not talking wouldn't solve any of my problems. I think it would make me go to the brink of insanity. You're breaking up with your husband or uh, boyfriend? Yeah. It's like a split second decision in your head. You're like, lie and say that I'm with a man just for sake of purposes of this conversation? Or do I come out to the stranger right now and get hate crimed, possibly? Oh God, he's got a tape. That's never good. You're saying I have to fuck you before we can talk business? You have to fuck me before you can expect to get anything from me. I feel like that was taken out of context. I know nothing about this girl, but that seems like a setup. You. Thanks. <laughs> she just escaped from a silent retreat. <laughs> silent? 
Oh, that's not good. You know what I do? I like to scream. On the three now. A one. A two. A three. Ah! <laughs> Dang, hers was by far had the most packed behind it. Like, she needed that scream. <laughs> oh my god, the video's still going. I thought we were done with that. Because it shows your daughter for what she is. A predator. Well, I saw it was rather moist sexual game. Certainly not harassment. No, she would never fall in love with a woman. Your daughter got her hooks into Dylan. Dylan was afraid. You applied for a Peabody Foundation grant for the arts five times and you were turned down every time. So what I'm seeing here is he just got clogged. He has a tiny pee pee and he's being an aggressive male. World's smallest violin. My clients have a rock solid case against Miss Peabody. Someone just tell that man his wife's a lesbian. That's the issue of all this. Do you feel better now? I hate angry sex. It doesn't solve a single thing. Sorry, I'm just gonna say it. Unpopular opinion. Alice? Tanya? Think about it. I could have been Mrs. Dana Fairbanks right now. Do you still talk to her? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Um, Jenny, Tim tells me that, uh, you're a writer. Yeah. How's that going? Good. Fine. She's getting published. But who's publishing her? Simon and Schuster. So it's gonna be everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if this is controversial, but when I watched the show, I was a Jenny hater. But I'm, like, actually excited for her because the reason I was a hater is every time there was a scene where Shoddy was on the laptop, cringe monologue, copyright-free music in the back. But I'm glad it worked out for her. Maybe I didn't think you could commit to anything long enough to see it through. He's an asshole, you bro. You're acting like such a victim. And no, I I'm not gonna forgive you. Don't huh? talk to me about honorable Tim. Hey, Becky, did you know that the night Tim came to say goodbye to me, he gave me a little revenge fuck? <laughs> Under no matter circumstances, that is not something you say to someone's wife. Max and the wife keep catching strays and they're just trying to chill there. Like, why would you even have lunch with your ex-boyfriend and your new partner with their new partner? Come on. <sighs> yeah, lunch is over at that point. This is how I basically spent my whole day yesterday after the election results. This plus some doom scrolling. Tell me you were never in love with me. I mean to hear you say it. I never want to see you again. Imagine having so much internalized homophobia you rather sue your ex-girlfriend and pretend you never liked her in the first place than just being gay. I'll send you copies on Monday. Fuck you. Wish me luck. I might be pregnant in a few hours. <laughs> Did she not even tell Tanya that Dana's like currently in the hospital right now? Because I don't think she knows. Why are you here? Are you okay? Visiting your friend. I hope they're all right. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're getting better. I, she doesn't really have a right to know, but why aren't we telling her? Why? Because Dana loves you so much. It was actually kind of hard to deal with when we were together. Knowing that there was ultimately this other person that was so much more important than me. <gasps> Code blue in ICU room seven. I know Dana isn't code blueing and they're showing me sex right now. I don't care. I don't care. Clear. This is so bad. They're showing where everyone is right now. Any calls? No carotid. No Does she feel something's wrong in the She's universe? I'm calling it stop seat time of death, 2 35 p.m. No. It's 2.35 right now, she's about to walk in. No, 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 no. And her heart failed. <laughs> I couldn't get her back, I'm, I'm very sorry. What the fuck is going on right now? Why is this the best rated episode, guys? I can't do it with the flower right now. I can't do it with the fucking flower right now. Why did the episode just end? Um, okay. I'm just supposed to watch the worst rated episode now. I don't even have any time to recover. I might after this have to watch the next episode. It. I didn't even get the reactions from the rest of the cast. I can't talk about this anymore. We have to move on. I would also give the episode, I will give it a nine. The worst rated one.
is named The Last Word and it's season six, episode eight, which is the very last episode. The rating for this episode on IMDb was a 6.1. I was kidding. It's not like I would ever do something like that. So it's starting it's off with emotional. Shane in jail. Maybe I should have watched the Didn't recap. We? we are wishing you well yes. on your trip to New yes. York, which I realize is kind of an adventure for you guys, right? Pause the show. Are they dating? I would have never predicted that. So I give you my word that we're going to make it. Alice, I swear to you, nothing has happened between us. Just. Be fucking truthful about your feelings. It's obviously out of your control. Yeah, I think I have fallen in love with Tasha. There's been too many high tension lunches. I don't even think Tasha. Oh, she does. I can try it. Just <sighs> if you don't call me by the same time tomorrow, I'll know you you made up. Your mind. Alice is kind of a sick, cruel, unusual person for sitting her girlfriend and her best friend down at the table and be like, you guys are in love with each other. Go ahead and try it. It's the smart and the brave thing to do and the psychotic thing to do. So is everybody in jail? She broke your heart as well. She broke my heart and then she got sick. Admit it, they were assholes. <gasps> <laughs> Max is still on the show, and he's also in jail with them? Question mark. I call him family. More than friends, less than family. And we just wait for someone else to choose us. What about Max? Max is pregnant? Did she just like imply that they should take Max's child from him? Why not? No. What? Come on, it's it's, sh it's perfect. Can I tell you something in confidence? I want Jenny Schechter to mind her own fucking business. That's what I want. Ooh. Ooh. I told you guys I didn't like Jenny when I used to watch the show. And for the other night after the opening, she came over here uninvited, might I add, to celebrate. And Jenny saw us through the window. Oh, well, what did she see? What were you doing? Nothing. She didn't see anything. And I swear, I'm not having an affair with Kelly. This is the first episode I've watched with Bette and Tina. Like, this is the last season now, so this is me giving them, like, a brand new chance, a brand new start. And we're 10 minutes into the new episode, and they're talking about an affair. Someone commented in my comment section and said, How dare you say Bette and Tina aren't boring? The only reason they're not boring is because the source of entertainment is their dysfunction. They are a super dysfunctional couple. And I stand by that. You know, Jenny's on this fucking delusional power trip and she wants me to confess to Tina. I told her to go have sex with this girl and then to let you know what she decides, Alice. That is fucking crazy. It's no more crazy than you not ending a relationship from hell because you think it'll kill Jenny. Okay, so Shane doesn't like Jenny either. Nobody likes Jenny. Yeah. Listen, I gotta go. Okay. Who are you talking to just now? Is this gonna end anytime soon or am I gonna be under suspicion for as long as we're together? Trust is... For me. Oh, people that were in an argument having sex again. Surprise, surprise. Oh, Beth, I miss you so much. Sue Sylvester! Sue you. Sylvester! You know what I'd like to do when we get to New York? I'd like to marry you. <gasps> Yay! That and Tina are getting married. I'm a hater, I guess. I can't believe this is finished. It looks incredible. Spend the night in your studio? No, no, Jenny's using it. I was just with Alice. Well, she's just, I mean, she's, she just needed it. She's, she's making, she do, she's working on something. It's important. <laughs> you know what I think it is? I think she needed to give you something so that she could have something else to take away from you. The way she's making them a goodbye video, <laughs> she's just shitting on her. I was not expecting this whole episode just to be Jenny hate time, but here we are. I'd like to think she's not that calculated. Yeah, I have to agree with Shane. <laughs> I don't even have trust issues, but they've been showing her on the phone so many times that she has to be doing something weird on her phone. Oh yeah, we saw an old giraffe with a goiter on his neck. Really? There's a powder room down the hall. Oh, you know what? It's tiny. You should go upstairs and use our fabulous new bathroom. No, I mean, I'm just not that crazy about the idea of some man in my beautiful new bathroom. Don't look at me like that. I'm not a man-hater. Lesbian man-haters are real. And you're looking at one. That's how I know. He never pees in my bathroom. Nope, never. Right? Ever. Never. Oh, where do never. you pee? Powder room. Right? I don't know when I see that. Oh, you manage, I'm sure. No, I wouldn't. I'd probably kill myself. 
Oh, stop. Oh, honey, do you got a big storm coming? This is from you. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. Jenny? She's been on the phone with Jenny during Jenny Hate Week? No, I meant because Dylan was over at Jenny's studio. Isn't she helping Jenny edit? I don't know, is she? Well, actually, at first we thought maybe they were having an affair, and I was like, yay! But then I realized that would suck for you. <laughs> Why would she say these things? Why? She just, like, keeps digging the grave. And I just want you to promise me that you're not going to tell her. No, you lied to me. You really did. And you, after that, you promised that you'd come clean to her, and you haven't done that. Like, I'm just like, oh my god. Time and place, and you did it at my birthday dinner. Because I know that she won't be able to let it go. Jenny, she has a huge problem with trust. Okay, when she finds out that I knew before I went into hit that Nikki Stevens was a setup, she's gonna think so I'm you're a, a liar. <laughs> you such I... a bad idea. This was so unethical, and I never should have been involved in any of this. Shut up, Jenny. It's not about you. Shut up for once. It's not your time. I swear to you, I would have done the exact same thing with Nikki Stevens, even if Jenny hadn't told me. Oh, Dylan, how can I know that? I don't know who Nikki Stevens is to choose sides in this argument. Thanks to Jenny fucking Schechter, I can't trust you. Thanks to Jenny fucking Schechter. It's like that thanks Obama meme, but it's just Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Molly? Hi. I heard about you and Jenny. That oh, great. And, you know, I just, I wrote the letter because I wanted to say- oh, Never so met this Molly stop, character. But, uh, what letter are you talking about? The letter. It's in the pocket of the jacket that I gave to Jenny to give to you. Yeah, I wish you and Jenny the best. Really. I'm trying to follow as best as I can because I miss some Nikki, whoever this Nikki girl is. Sounds like Jenny manipulated Shane into a relationship with her. I think of Jenny there you go. as Kali, the goddess of destruction. That's very generous of you. Maybe Shane threw a bucket of water on her and she melted. <laughs> I would love to know how their relationship ended. I'm sure whatever happened, it was Jenny's fault. Let's try. Jenny, <laughs> circle. Yes. I mean, come on, you need to let it go. You know, Beth said nothing happened. I can see that my friends don't want to be around me anymore. <laughs> do you have proof? I'm not a liar. No. Nah. Did Beth do something? She's cheated before. This episode's about to get really messy really fast. You can press play. Oh no, I don't want to see it. Cover my eyes, seriously. So much cheating on the show. Oh, oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Once a cheater, always a cheater, I suppose. No wonder she hates Jenny. She knows her biggest secret, bro. What is she looking for? She's looking for the letter. It's still in the jacket pocket to this day. What is that, a porno? Tell us about them. What was it called? It was called Lay Girls. Or Les Girls. Hey, Ben. Hey. 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 Oh, hey. Can I uh, talk to you for a minute? Some shit is about to go down. I told Kelly came over, she was drunk, and I said no. Oh, girl, stop, stop. I saw it. Jenny showed me this video that she shot through your window. She did it. Don't lie it's to me. Impossible. I can't say it. So is that not her in the video, or is she just like doubling down and lying really bad? What is the truth? What are these videos? I don't understand. Why are they all freaking out? Jenny? Dude, they're about to fight. They're about to fight. But I will not abide anyone who threatens my family. She's kind of crazy. Beth's being a little crazy. Jenny, you guys are gonna be together. It's... We're not together. I thought you said you couldn't break up with her. That was then. Something super incriminating has to be on those movies. Have to do with who killed Jenny? I don't understand at all these questions. Okay, the way the momentum swing was, I figured she died, but I couldn't confirm. Did they say that last episode and so I've just been out of the loop or was that just revealed to us? Did you see Jenny? Okay. No. She in the bottom of the pool. Why is the dog sniffing around the pool? Wow, Jenny went all out. Mm -hmm. Should we pause it? 
So I think Jenny wants to see all your reactions. I think you from the bottom of my heart. I'm supposed to be your friend tonight, I'll try to find her. Yeah, you guys. But what's the hurry? Let go. Tell me what we know. Is it wrong of me to say that it's kind of weird to drown yourself in the pool at someone's going away party? Because I feel like their issues with Jenny has been that she's selfish. Like, what did Bet say out to her on that porch? I literally thought she was gonna push Jenny off the balcony and she just went in the pool. I'm and Tasha's here I'm, now? I'm a police officer. Okay, well, I'm in the academy. Okay, what's going on here? I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. You know, I'm afraid this is gonna take a bit longer than we thought. None of us did anything wrong, but we don't know what happened out there. You probably just want us to come down to the station. Oh, that would be great. Why is the cop acting like one of them must have done something? The vibes are weird, right? I am never gonna forget you. So thank you for everything. Okay. Was it pre-planned or was that just an emotional goodbye? There's like five minutes left. I better be filled in on everything possible. I'm still confused. They better not end it on this slow motion. I'll be so upset. Bro, what? This whole time I was wondering why this got rated so low, but maybe because they didn't even finish the episode? How did she die? What do you mean this is the last episode of the show? That's like actually upsetting information. Well, I hope Shane ends up with Molly. I hope Alice and Tasha end up back together. Um, I hope Bet and Tina don't break up. Is that cheating video even real? What is lay girls? Please fill me in in the comments. I'm gonna need the gays to come to my rescue and explain some stuff to me because something's not clicking. Best rated episode being one of the characters dying from cancer and the worst rated episode being one of the characters dying from suicide. Literally just watch two deaths. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry if you're traumatized along with me and didn't mean to do that to you. I love every single one of you. I will post another video soon. Peace.